Hi and welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor. And in this section we're going to, to, to have word problems that deal with averages. <clears throat> now don't forget what an average is, I think you all know, but an average is when you have three, four, five, six numbers, however many numbers you have, the average of those numbers is, in, in words, it's just kind of like a middle of the road number. You kind of pick the middle of the road number that is representative of the whole group. Okay, and the way you do that is you add up the numbers and you divide by the number of uh, numbers you have, and that's the average number. So this this section is going to deal with with averages, and uh, you'll have to use that fact. You'll have to use the definition of the average to solve these kinds of problems. So let's just dive into it. Uh, the first problem is this: on an exam, a class exam, uh, Jason scores a 97, a grade of 97. Barbara scores an 88, and Jeremy scores a 91. What is the average grade? Okay, so we'll just use our our definition. The average, okay, is the sum of the number of uh, the sum of the grades divided by the number. So if Jason scores a 97, and uh, Barbara scores an 88, and uh, Jeremy scores a 91, you just add them up and you divide by three, and that's the average. Okay, when you do this math from the top, you get 276 divided by 3. So the average is uh, 92. Okay, the average is 92. Okay, so that's the definition of an average, and that's why I kind of started out this section with this kinds of problems, so that you can, you can see all you have to do is add the three grades together, or the three digits, and you can divide by the number, and that will give you the average. And notice that this average is kind of like a middle of the road. That's what an average means. 97 is the highest, 91 is the minimum, 92 is, it's not necessarily going to be in the middle of, of, of these two numbers, um, but you see it's, you've got an 88 in here that kind of factors in pulling it down a little bit, so the average is, is a 92, okay? Let's go on to something a little bit more challenging. Um, a teacher sets a goal for the class uh, average, the class average of 90 on a test. In a class of 10 students, five students score an 88, four students score an 89. What must the remaining score be in order to reach the goal? Can it be done? That's the other question. So let's read it one more time. There's a class goal of 90 on the test, an average of 90. Uh, out of 10 people, five of them score an 88, four of them score an 89. What is the last person, what, what must he score to raise the uh, average up to the, uh, to the goal? And can this be actually be done? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our definition of an average again. There's 10 students in the class and uh, 5 of them score an 88. So what you have is 88 plus 88 plus 88 plus 88 plus 88. That's 5 students scoring an 88 and 4 of them score an 89. 89 plus 89 plus 89 plus 89. Okay. 5 score an 88, 4 score an 89. There's one more guy in here. We do not know what he scores, so he will be called X because that's what we're solving for. And you're dividing by 10. And this is going to give you the average. Okay. And we want to see what this value of X must be. Okay. And uh, don't forget, our goal here is to make the average equal to 90. That's what we want to do. So let's add up the stuff on the top. 88 plus 88, blah, 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 all the way up through 89 gives you 796. That's what all these numbers added up together are. Plus X divided by 10, and the goal is 90. That's what we want to do. So we're trying to solve for X. Here's what 